the nested if statements. We've already discussed if statements in earlier lessons. Here in this lesson, we'll see about the nested if statement, which means an if statement can contain more than one if statement. To understand better, take a look at this image which explores the nested if functionalities. In this image, there are two conditional parts. If the conditions read true, the relevant statement will be executed. Otherwise, no output will be produced. Now you have an idea about the nested if statement, so let's move on to the syntax of the nested if. In the first line of the syntax, we check the condition. If the condition is true, the control will switch over to another if statement. Here we check one more validation. If it is satisfied, the statements will be executed. Otherwise, the final statements will be executed from the else part. To understand better, look at the sample code. In this sample code, we declare the variables, namely a and b, inside the main function. At the same time, they initialize as 200 and 100, respectively. Then we test a condition whether a is greater than 100 or not. If the condition shows true, the control will go to the next if statement. Then we check once again whether A is less than B. If this is satisfied, we'll get the output like A value is smaller than B. Otherwise, we'll get the output as sorry, try again. Now we can compile the sample code by pressing Alt F9. When that is done, click on OK, then press Control F9 to run the sample code. And look at this output. Now you're clear with the nested if statements.